I say? Sorry, I was trying to listen. Oh, I did last week I had it, but I didn't get a chance to come on here. So um I, I have it. Listen, I should have grabbed it yesterday when we left. Uh but how y'all doing? How y'all doing? I was trying to do something on here. Listen. Don't start nothing with that tamarind bitch, right? So you know you start that. I don't know how to put it down. I always get in trouble at church because I don't know how to put my tambour in the damn. Pray for me. Okay. Pray for me. But, um, thanking the Lord for waking us up today, storing us on our way, giving us all the activities of our limbs, showing us another day that wasn't promised to us. He, uh, didn't recycle yesterday and give it back to us again today. He gave us a brand new day. And I'm grateful for it. I pray that you're grateful for having another day to get your life in order, get yourself together, enjoy another day. Uh, but uh, I don't own the rights to this music, none of it, okay? But uh, I am grateful that um, God allowed us to listen, sir. Come on, this little light of mine. Uh, Um, but just grateful that how God has just allowed us to gather here one more time. Listen, he about to throw some stuff over here on this, uh, this little light of mine on the ocean. Listen, yeah. Okay, I'm trying to stay focused, but you know, I just thought, it, you know, you know. We try to behave, doing our best to behave. But um, being grateful to God for where he has brought us. Listen, hey, how are you guys say? The wonderful things that he has been doing. Um, got us here. Woke us up. Getting our mind right. You're able to blink. <laughs> You're able to blink. You're able to, to touch and feel. Hey, Lynn, God say, listen. Just keep on doing these great things that he's doing for us. Keep on making the way. Listen, he's doing these wonderful things he's doing for us, and I'm grateful to him for doing it. He didn't have to do it, but I'm glad that he did. Um, the wonderful time that we had on yesterday, well, I, if nobody else, I'm going to speak for myself. Wonderful time we had on yesterday, Bishop preached yesterday. Um, restore. I think I'm right. Restore. And um, he went down memory lane with a whole lot of good things. And you just, Lord, restore me. Restore me. Restore me. You know, fix me. Okay. Let me get my, let me get, let me, oh, I know it's restored. But I think he said something about going back 
and get what I had. Don't quote me on that. Go back and watch it. New Freedom of Shop Missionary Baptist Church. It's on their page. And the message from yesterday. Hey, Miss Rachel, how are you feeling? I had you on a prayer list. Come on, restore. Listen, restore me. Renewing me the, the right spirit. Listen, come on. Because some people got the wrong. They got, listen, he over here don't start a preaching. He's supposed to be singing a whole song and he over here preaching. Listen, how you feeling, Miss Rachel? I'm sorry. But listen, you got to restore me. Get out of that. Fix me. I, if you can't fix nobody else, I ain't worried about nobody else. Fix me. All right? When the push comes to shove, all this is about me getting my life right so I can see you. So restore me. Fix me. Get me together. A lot of people don't want to do that. They're supposed to, you know, it's a lot of people don't think nothing be wrong with them. They think they just perfect. They don't do nothing wrong. They don't have no uh, bad ill will towards people. They don't say anything bad. They don't do nothing. Like, well, who are you? That was a sin. You lied. You lied. Because that was a sin. If everybody knew you don't feel like you got a flaw, you got a flaw. Everybody has some type of flaw. One flaw or another. Listen, now I need a tambourine. Listen. Okay. They don't start a play. I don't have a tambourine. Listen. I don't know how I am. But anyway, I'm trying to <laughs> trying to get my life back in order. Listen. Okay, I'm trying to stay focused here. Let me stay focused. Listen. Um, oh, good, Miss Rachel. We've been praying for you. I've been keeping you on the prayer list at church. We've been praying for you and praying that everything has been working out well with you. Um, and praise God. We're going to continue to pray for you. We'll continue to do that. Um, but um, I'm going to have to fast forward this because it's going to make me go find something to play a time with. It's going to make me go find something. Let me see if I can fast forward with this. Listen. Uh oh. Maybe I was gonna shout for 30 minutes. <laughs> you beat me! <laughs> Listen, they don't win on in. These folks don't win on in. Church of God is right. Listen. I think that's the name of the church. It's the church of God in Christ. Listen, I, I, I need some. I knew I should have put it back in my bag when I got this plan the other day. I should have went on with it. Listen, okay. So anyway, <laughs> she said, too late. I already got it. You already got started before we reached her. So listen, but um, we're still Listen, right? Bishop, so he got us the reading. Yes, he's on everybody reading with me. We got the reading. He said, Restore. That's what I'm going to talk about. Restore. Restore. Listen. I told you, it's a lot of folks don't think. All right. I'll see you. Um, but you know folks don't think it to be nothing wrong with them like they don't make any they don't do anything wrong like they just perfect and they don't have no flaw we all got flaws man i want to admit to all of them or to any of them or to some but you got flaws like you you done you do stuff wrong you say something wrong you think wrong so you have a flaw. We all have something. You all, everybody wants something. They want to be like, I wish I didn't have this. Or I wish I didn't have that over. I wish this or wish that. And it's because you you see a flaw in you. So why you don't think that it's some, something can be, quit thinking you're perfect. You can't, can't think that we're perfect. We all have something wrong with all of us. We all have something wrong with us. So it's either you going to. Admit to it or you not and work on those flaws or work on yourself being better. If you have an anger problem, you have um, um, 
you know, talking way too much out of turn. You know, folks block their blessings or miss blessings because they talk too much. Be like, Lord, if you just hush, you're going to miss this blessing that's coming on your watch. It's getting ready to come. And you're about to miss it because you're talking. And you don't talk yourself out of something that the Lord was preparing you for, putting you in, in front of. He was trying to set you up for something, but you kept talking and you missed that on because you were talking too much. Like, shut up. Hush. Be quiet. Shh. Put your lips together. Put your lips together. So you can get your mind, get your lip, get yourself together. But a lot of folks don't feel like they, they don't need any assistance, so they don't need any help. They don't need no way um, of getting their lives in order. They, because they feel like they already, it's already perfect. Everything is already working well. They don't need no help. Nothing needs to be set straight for them, any of that. They just got it all together. Um, but we have to remember that, you know, we are not perfect and we got a we got a lot wrong with each and <laughs> we got stuff wrong with us. It might not be what somebody else's issues is, but we got stuff that's going on with us. And um I was see what it was, I'm sorry. she was or what she was saying please forgive me but um anyway um you do have a lot of people that feel like there is no they don't have anything wrong with them or they don't have anything that needs to be changed or better about them because they feel like they're perfect where they are but their attitudes are bad and you have people their attitudes are so bad pretty handsome nice people but their attitude makes them not be so cute not be so pretty because their attitude is so bad or their mouth is so bad you're just like ooh. That turned out like totally different. I didn't know you, well, you, you were cute until you open up your mouth and say what you said, and it's just so harsh. And you're just like, mm mm, that don't work. Like, don't do that. Like, don't say that. Um, I don't push the wrong thing. Sorry, y'all. But you you have that, and and we are. Um, I know now people just feel like they just don't have anything wrong. We just feel like that we just these perfect people, and we we strive for perfection. We as we do, we we looking for you trying to do better, and you trying to um, wishing you just or uh, praying for better, and. Um, we don't. We can say that we know we need help within ourselves, but when we get to other people, oh, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm just this perfect little angel. And, I'm, and Bishop said yesterday, there's no perfect. He said we all say I look, I look chicky. Is that they just so angels? They so sweet, and you just be looking like, mm -mm, mm -mm. they do stuff, they say stuff, you know, and you know they start out little and they be doing like a start them out young, popping their hands, telling them no. Uh, that way they won't, they know right from wrong. You start them out young, but then you get so they 85, well, I won't say that though. <laughs> they 20 and then they still accepting the things that you allow to pass on. They still they still doing those same things. Um, but we just have to do better with um, trying to make sure that we got ourselves together on the up and up. And a lot of people don't want to accept their flaws or accept the things that they can do better. And we can do better. We can do better. Folks are just like, I'm, this is just me. This is just the way I am, and I'm not changing. Really? You can do better. You don't have to accept the, the job that you've been having. You don't have to stay at that. If that's not that's not helping you, it's not where the field you need to be in, the life you need to be leading, you can change those things about you. You can, you can do better. you just accepting what's being thrown at you. When somebody says something bad to you or... Um, uh, throw give you an um, opportunity you don't have to accept what they're giving you can do better because hey no i got something i want better than that you you but you chose to accept what was putting out there like folks talk about y'all you gonna be this because it's what your family was you don't have to be that you can be something way better than that but people like to do that i'm gonna give you a you this is who you're gonna be and we accept what folks put on us you don't have to accept that nope not me that's not gonna be me that was them that was her that was him Ain't gonna be me. I'm changing me. 
I'm going to be better than that. I'm going to grow those things. I'm going to be on a whole different plane, another different level. I don't have to accept what you're putting on me because what you're talking about is my husband says blasphemy. <laughs> it's blasphemy. We're not going to just accept what anybody want to put out there or choose to get to give you. You don't have to accept what folks say. Your daddy was a drug dealer. You're going to be a drug dealer. Your daddy was a, a, a pimp. You're going to be a pimp. Like, why, if my daddy was a, 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 I don't know, he was an engineer, why he can't be no engineer? So, but folks want to put all that bad stuff on you, you know, folks remember the things that you done bad, they don't remember the good stuff, they don't, they don't see where you are now, like nobody has not done any bad things, yeah, you done done some bad stuff, so, accept that, move on, you could be better, you don't have to live in that, you don't have to stay that way. You grew up in poverty, you don't mean you have to stay in poverty. You grew up in a bad, you don't mean you have to stay there. You can increase, you can do better, you can get, you can have better. Um, but folks like to just stay within that. Hey, how are you guys say? People like to stay within that because that's the way I was raised. That's the way I, I've been. That's the way I know. And that's what, no, we got always striving for, for better. I always strive for better. You don't have to just settle for the lesser side of things. Do more. Don't just accept that one thing. Do multiple things. Do a lot of stuff. Um, until you find, especially until you find out what you really want to do. Because you have to feel around. Sometimes I, I know people say, I, I got to get away to find my way. Do what you got to do to find your way. Do what you got to do to make sure that you on, you on the straight and narrow. Because a lot of folks don't want to, they don't want to be on the, they think they have to settle for that. Because that's what your mama say or your cousin them say. That's what you You don't have to accept that. You're better than what you what people have said you are. You are way better than that. Don't accept that. Because some people have to talk about you. And y'all know I say that all the time. They talk about Jesus. We're not different. So if they talk about you, you know they going they gonna try to put some stuff on you that you don't even you wouldn't even it's like where did they even come from? But folks will give you that. They'll talk about you, they'll give you that stuff. But they don't mean you have to take it and put it in your pocket and say, This is mine. Put it in your heart and say, I'm gonna embrace that. Nope, I'm not. Because you said it don't mean I have to have it. Jesus got something totally different in line for me, in store for me. He got some, some things that are totally different. Listen, I want to tell y'all about this website, which is my website, godsday81.com. Godsday81.com. I promise you, check that out. Um, There's a lot of good information on there, a lot of different blog pages. Um, the blog pages is for you, for me, and other people, whatever. Um... But if you go through there and just roam around in the on the website, which is godsday81.com, I pinned it on here. Um, and if you have a business, a church, or a nonprofit, um, and it was something else, event that's coming up, let me know. I put it on the website. As long as it's not nothing, I have to put like an age requirement on it. I have to put like a disclaimer or whatever on it because I don't want to keep my. Um, website into that because that's not what that's not what it's set up it's not designed for that so as long as it's not anything i have to put an age requirement on or put a disclaimer on i would love to put your business on there your church if it's your church that you're doing and you're not the pastor or someone in your or leadership please get permission to put your church information on there that's my suggestion for that but if it's your business you got an event coming up just hey i just need some more people to look at it and support um, especially a nonprofit, I have, um, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, but I, if whatever it is, is something positive, because that's what we do on God's Day. Everything is positive. Everything is uplifting and encouraging. And we're not trying to, you know, do all the extra stuff or whatever, but we would love to put your business or whatever. Hey, how are you, God's Day? We would love to put your business or your um, event or whatever on the website. Which is, yes, come on, God say. Um, God say 81.com. We would love to put your business event, nonprofit, or church on there. Again, if it's your church, please get permission from your pastor, whoever is in charge, to put your um, church business um, or your church information on the God say 81.com website. Check it out. Um, and there's already other businesses on there. Um, I do have one, I uploaded some last week. Um, that's the good thing about building your own website. Look at me. Eh, eh, eh. That's the good thing about building your own website is because you can, um, you ain't got to worry about nobody going up there making changes and stuff. You can make those changes yourself. Okay. So email me, guysday81 at gmail.com. 
johnsday81 at gmail.com and um, just say, hey, here's my business information or et cetera. And um, I'll put it on there. There is information on there. I have my sister-in-law, or my sister-in-law, one of my sister-in-laws because I have multiple. She is a, um, she has started her own natural hair care line, which is curl worthy. Um, her name is Lakeisha Brown. Please go on there. It's on the website. All you have to do is click on, it's page down a little bit, and you're going to see curl worthy on there. Click on it. Anybody has natural hair, anybody that's looking to like for better skin or whatever, she creates her own, um, her own, what I want to say, stuff. She makes her own stuff. So, go on there, check it out. She has a website, you click on it. She also has the Instagram. I think I put, put her Instagram on there. Check her out, though. All you do is just click on it. It's going to pop up and take you straight to the website or straight to the Instagram or straight to her Facebook, whichever one I have on there. I can't remember right now. Um, but check her out. Also, check out their own paparazzi. There's one paparazzi so far. I'm waiting on the other ladies to send me theirs. But there are other... Um, There are other um, businesses that are on there. So if you haven't seen yours yet, it's because you haven't sent me, the, sent me the information at all. I need you to send me the information, then I will put it on there. Again, as long as it's not nothing I have to put a disclaimer on, saying they got to be 18 or 21 or older, I'm not doing that. I have one that I'm going to have to look into before I post it because I'm not sure about that one yet. I don't know much about what they're trying to put on there, so I got to find out before I do it. But if it's you and you're looking to have more eyes on your business, church, etc., send me your information and I will upload it to the godsday81.com website. Email me, godsday81.com, godsday81 at gmail.com. I'm sorry. Check out our Instagram page, Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, website, podcast. If you have not checked out the podcast, it's Godsday. Um, podcast, and you can listen to it on Apple Podcast, Apple, Apple, excuse me, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast. Oh, it's a lot of them. Um, Castbox, Deezer. Uh, I'm gonna tell y'all in a minute. Back to the podcast. Podcast, we have Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Podcast Addict, Podchaser, um, Deezer, Google, um, iHeart, and there is, I think there's two more, CastBox. Also, we're on YouTube. YouTube is um, Whispers in the Pews. So, you have opportunities to go back and listen to uh, previous episodes that we have done, including more. I have to upload more. Hopefully, this week I can get to that. I got a list, a laundry list of stuff I have to get done this week. And that is one of them. Hey, how are you guys there? That is one of them. So, um, please check that out. Podcast website the podcast is even on the website which is godsay 81com the podcast is there check it out um so i want to tell you all all of those things don't forget if you have not already like share and follow the godsay page please go do so just type in godsay in your search bar and it's gonna pop up with godsay and we'll have a logo the cute logo like this one that's on here um and you click on that click like so we can, and I appreciate each and every last one of you all on Facebook. We are over 1,300 followers. So I appreciate y'all for being a part of that for Facebook. So God say, um, and, and then you go on there and you click like if, and share it with your friends and family. Say, hey, this is what's going on, God say. They uploading people's information on websites. They're doing all this good stuff. Also, when you go to the website, it's going to pop up and ask you for email to be an email subscriber for our mailing list please do so so when exclusive information come out you can be a part of that exclusive information that is being received you'll get the information first before it be posted on social media you'll get to see what's going on 
inside of God's day, you know, when new blog has been uploaded or posted, you'll get information about that. You'll get information about that first. And okay, so you'll get um, exclusive information about that first. So sign up for the email subscription list that's for our guysday81.com website. Also, um, with that being said, I was telling y'all that um, I went to an event on Friday, and Friday um, was for my sister. Um, my nieces are starting a foundation, which is called Beverly Hills Hearts Foundation. Um, so I will be posting about that, and also I will be adding it onto our uh on the website so you can go and if you want to make donations to that you're more than welcome if you have questions about it um you're more than welcome to do so as well with that that is um what it is is um assisting african-american women and latino women with that has heart failure or heart congestive failure is what it's called I'm sorry. you'll be able to get assistance in some type of way um with doctor fees or copay and other things that you may need um but the information will be posted and will be out there that way you can just click on it and just be like oh i want to hear more about this and the people that are in charge of that will get with you and they either email them ask questions follow on instagram and support that foundation which is called beverly hills heart so i pray that each and every last one of you all can be a part of that lovely um foundation um, so that will be will be posted um, on the website soon, um, along with some other things. But what I was saying about that reason I haven't posted pictures about that is because the dress that I wore to that event is one of my ambassador um, dresses that I wore. Yeah, so I need to post my reveal of opening the dress <laughs> and um, give my review on the dress. So that's why I haven't posted pictures about it yet. So I want to be able to do that and let y'all know. So y'all can go and um, see what you can find for you, yourself, your girlfriend, your mama, your cousins, or whomever they may need it or looking for something to wear. Also, one of my nieces is a um, owner of a boutique store, an online boutique store, which is called Fortress Boutique. Y'all hear me talking about it all the time, Fortress Boutique has very lovely nice items for your girlfriend for you or your um your sister your cousin your mama your amy any of them can go and you just want to give a gift to a friend or something like that she has some really really lovely things so that's my niece give me a piece of change <laughs> So that's my niece, uh, Takasha Brown Olea with Fortress Boutique. Please check her out. She's, um, I will be adding her on the website too. So you can click on it and go straight to her website and support her with her, um, her business. And she models her own clothes and posts them. She's on Instagram, she's on Facebook, and she also has a website, FortressBoutique.com. Please check her out. And I think I might have a, I think it's a BigCartel.com. I used to know all these things by heart, but it's been a while. Um, so, please support her and what she's doing with uh, Portraits Boutique. Um, so, but I appreciate her and my other niece, um, Joanna. They are doing uh, marvelous things with um, carrying on the legacy of my sister um, with the foundation. So, please support <laughs> Please support them and show them love with that. So if y'all hear me talking about it, I'm posting about it. Y'all already know. I've already done gave y'all that for one and told y'all what's happening with that. Um, so again, don't forget to go to the website, say 81com Click on the it should pop up once you get on the website, say 81com It should pop up with an email list. Um, subscribe to that. And you get exclusive information about say 81com and anything that's going on with it, whether there be a new blog, whether there be anything that's coming up, any new events, um, any type of update updates, you will get the information firsthand. Also, go on there and, and um, get interactive, interactive, excuse me, with the website, with the blogs that are there, which are um, 
ask the bishop. There's questions if you have questions for him, you can ask the bishop. Yes. <laughs> yes, ask the bishop. You can ask him. There's a um page. No. Bishop Collins. Bishop Collins. And then you can ask um Whisper, there's a section on there for whispers in the pews. You can ask questions, your own questions. You may have been having questions about anything. You can put it on there. Um, also, there's a commemorative page, which is for your loved one, your family, friends. They have passed on, and you just want it's their birthday, it's their anniversary. You're just thinking about them. You can post that information on there um, as well. Then there is my blog, where I blog about whatever, and you can be a part of that too. And then there is just like a blog that just has a lot of good things on there. It's just information or whatever, like countdown to our wedding anniversary, even though it's next year. It's still there as a countdown clicking thing that our Facebook is on there and all that good stuff. The announcements page is the um, page where all different types of businesses, um, the churches, any of those, that information is on the announcements page. Um, if you're looking for um or you know somebody doing hiring anything we can put all that on there where people can go there and say hey they hiring and we can just click and get them there as well so it's a lot of good things on there please check out guys they one.com don't forget about the podcast which is guys say just kind of click in if you go to google and type in guys say something about guys say is gonna pop up email website I don't know which one gonna pop up first, but something on one is gonna pop up, and it's gonna be it'll be able to let you click on it and be interactive with whatever it is. So make sure you. It's <laughs> so crazy. Um, so please uh, go out there and be very active with our website and what is going on with that. So email guys say eight one at gmail dot com. Website guys say eight one dot com. Um, podcast guys say. Um, what else did I tell you? Facebook, God's Day, Instagram, just type in God's Day. I should pop up. If not, put my first name in there A U N Q U N I C. Listen. Okay, so check that out. And don't forget to go follow the New Frequent Chapel Missionary Baptist Church page on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook, New Frequent Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. Instagram, New Frequent Chapel NBC. If you would like to sow into the ministry for New Frequent Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, you can with a dollar sign via Cash App, dollar sign, New Frequent Chapel NBC. Um, also, don't forget to go and like, share, and follow the Lip Gloss for Love. That's a nonprofit organization for domestic violence. Anyone you know may be dealing with domestic violence, have been dealing with it, still have issues or whatever, please, please, please check out Lip Gloss for Love. There's also another foundation that is on the God Say 81.com page. And right now, I cannot think of it. Hold on. Oh, I can't get to that from there. Mm -mm, I'm using so many devices right now. And my other iPad is dead. I forgot to charge it up. Hold on for the sake of this other. That's it, that's it. It's called Believe in Faith Transitional Housing, which is a, let me see if I can make this big so I can see it, is a transi transitional housing for domestic violence victims. Um, the CEO is a young lady that I used to work with, um, T, we call her Tim, but T. Andrea San Sanford, she's the CEO. Um, her website is on here along with her email address. And um, you're more than welcome to go on here and get the information. Um, if you know if someone is doing that, 
um, that may need those services. Also, Lip Gloss for Love is another one. Y'all see me posting on there is because we're trying to make sure that everyone um, see, excuse me, um, the information. You don't know. If you share it, somebody may see it. They can click on it and get the assistance that they need. You may not know what they're going, going through or what they're dealing with. Or maybe someone else, uh, but they may they know what they're dealing with and they can use that information. So any any information that is good for passing on, doesn't matter if it's a non nonprofit or anything, I will put it on the website so other people can go, hey, I remember where I seen this, I don't have to hunt and dig. Maybe they're somewhere in my city. And so far I have two that are for domestic violence if you need assistance for it. Um, and I know a lot of people, a lot of places still haven't opened up completely, a lot of places are still kind of you know, winging it and a lot of people still staying at home. So you don't know what people are dealing with when you're, you know, when they're alone and they're at home. So I just want to make sure that I put this information out there for somebody that may need it. So if it's, um, so like I said, I have two and I might add the other one on there, which is the lip gloss for love. But the other one that's on here is called Believe in Faith Transitional Housing. So please check them out. Also, I have a company on here called I Wonder Beauty, um, and look like she makes her own products as well. As for as I, hey, how are you guys? Say, I have a young lady on here, D and D Studio Collection. She does eyelashes, so check her out. Her information is also on here. Um, then the same young lady that has the nonprofit organization she has she does knitting which is crochet braid uh braid and crochet um sewing she do the crochet and um it's called a grandmother's touch and she has a website instagram twitter and email she got all of it too so check her out young lady named breeze brew pickles and she has all types of pickles and her Facebook is attached to here. You can click on it. It'll take you straight to her website or take you straight to her Facebook. You can call her. Her flyer is on here. You can call her or you can um, get in contact with her through social media. Also, a classmate of mine, which is E. Marion Smith. She has the Duck Off. Duck Off is a place where you can go and get um, relaxation. You can get your mind together. You can go and get... Um, uh, just relax and she got cotton candy, snow cone machine. It's just a place to have a great time. She got all that. It's called the Duck Off. You can check her out. Her name is Marion Smith. And she also has the Kick A Pickles. Cheryl's Kick Cheryl's Kick A Pickles. Um, and that information is also on here and it attaches to her Facebook page so you can check it out. And another lovely young lady, which is um Gabby Williams. She is with heaven sent and she does cleaning like cleaning your house your garage or whatever your rooms she does all types of cleaning check her out her information is on um this website as well she is the cleaning captain her name is gabrielle williams so please check her out with heaven sent um search by the paparazzi told you about curl worthy um check out sensational sweet spot cunny she does all types of desserts, cakes, and tea cakes, and all kinds of stuff. So check her out. Her information is also here. And there is a um, DFW all 24-hour gospel station called the DFW Den Radio Station. So please like, share, and follow them. Their information is also on here. And all you have to do is click on this uh, the button that's right next to it, and it'll take you straight to their page. And I have two Mary Kay, so far, two Mary Kay consultants, which is Samantha Breckenbridge. And she is a great Mary Kay consultant. Her information is on here. And also Miss Monica Creighton. Please like, share, and follow them. Support them if they're business. And um, if you're a person that wants to be advertised, I have your information put on here. All you do is just send me what you want to say or a flyer with your business card or whatever. And we can post it and put you on here, even if it's your church. Because New Freedom Chapel Missionary Baptist Church is on here as well. Um, letting you know about our church times, the services, or whatever. That information is here. So, please don't forget to like, share, and follow all of these great people. And also, anything that's dealing with God's say, we would love you to be a part of God's say. Anything that's dealing with that. God's say podcast. The God's say website, which is God's say 81.com. Email us at God's say 
at gmail.com. Follow us on Facebook, which is God's Day. YouTube, which is uh, Whispers and Appeals. Twitter, which is uh, God's Day. I think it is. I think I'm right. Um, and we're on Pinterest, as God say. And I think that might be all right so far. Um, maybe doing something else. But check out all those things that if you missed the beginning, go back to the beginning and listen to it all over again. We're just grateful to God for allowing us to get here and see each other one more time on God's day to build something, build part of something great and amazing. Not just a part of this God's day platform, but a part of God's day being in this world, being a part of something great, um, being able to live on top of the dirt and not the dirt on top of us. It's always a blessing. I always say y'all that. It's always great that God didn't recycle yesterday and give it back to us again today, even though you might have had a great and amazing day on yesterday. But he gave you today to make it even better, to make it even greater, to do something amazing, to be better than you were on yesterday, to do some awesome things, not just for yourself, but for somebody else. He's out there to make you, um, to, to show you love and for you to show love to other people. So, that's what we talked about today. That's what we did good today. That's what we did. But I'm going to go. I want y'all to have a great rest of y'all evening. If you need me, you know how to get in contact with me. You can inbox me. You can email me. Or if you got my number, you can call me. But, or text me. Um, but I will get all those things uploaded and done. And like I said, if you forgot anything or missed out anything, when I get off of here, click on those links. There's a link tree link. When you click on there, it's going to pop up with all the links that I'm a part of, all the social media I'm a part of. Click on those links. It's going to take you to all that. Follow, like, share, support. We would love for you to be a part, continue to be a part of God's Day. Thanks to those that have helped us get over 1,300 followers on Facebook. We're pushing for more, even on Instagram, to have even bigger and more. So if you have Instagram, go follow God's Day. If you type in God's Day on there, I should pop up. If not, type in my first name and like us on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. We would love to have you. Um, so y'all have a great rest of y'all evening. Remember, God loves you. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Talk to y'all later. Bye.